here are my top six favorite Illumination movies. Now, Illumination, you might love them or hate them, but you love them a lot, so... It's owned by, of course, the one and only Universal Pictures. Now, let's get started with the list. Not a ranking, though. At number six, we have The Lorax. It's one of the best Illumination movies. It's one of my favorite Illumination movies, but not favorite movie, but, you know, it's great. It's pretty fun. Pretty enjoyable. Even Nightmare Society's Face is a good movie. Number five, Minions to Rise of This movie was in development tech, if you don't know. Then in 2020, it was going to be released, but in 2020, we got McDonald's toys in the movie. It was delayed, 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 and... 2022 everyone liked it thankfully it wasn't like mario you know that was not received well by critics but audience yes so that's pretty strange but many interest to group is a 9 out of 10. number four despicable me three this is easily the best despicable me movie uh maybe it's still a good 7 out of 10 but i really hope this movie comes to peacock soon i'm still waiting it for a streaming release and if universal puts this leaving and only exclusively for a month then that's not great i want the whole complete despicable me trilogy on peacock and let the minions trilogy be on netflix you know favorite of everyone like come on it's every fan favorite from illumination haters but i'm a i'm an illumination lover so yeah but this is easily great another 9 out of 10 i mean actually a 10 out of 10 you know like mario and sing two number two it's Mario Brothers movie. This is easily better than the original movie from the 90, from the 1990s, which was distributed by the Walt Disney Company. Which, imagine that movie was on Disney Plus. I would be like uh, pretty interested. But also, I hope the, the new movie of Mario comes to a Peacock or Netflix sooner this year. You know. Also, I watched the Mario movie on April 6th, and it was a freaking experience of gaming. It felt like a gaming movie. I mean, this is not the last movie of video games I saw. The last one I saw was Sonic the Hedgehog 2 from Paramount Pictures. This time, Universal Pictures took over Mario, and that's great. Better than Disney's. This movie is slightly better than Sing 1. No one can beat it. Like, literally, the songs, the visuals, the beauty of it all. It's just like Mario, but before Mario got an animated movie, you know? From Universal Pictures. And, Ill and Ill Ill Illumination Entertainment. Okay, I couldn't say it now. Okay. Okay, so... 10 out of 10 movie. I'm gonna rate them all. Uh, 7 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 8 out of 10, not 7 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 again. And 10 out of 10. Now like and subscribe, or else my avatar from Roblox will shoot you with a minigun. Well, just a joke, but really, like and subscribe, unless you're a lover. But if you're a hater, then get out.